in ways we never imagined. The rise of artificial intelligence, friend or foe. Now, what if I told you that artificial intelligence could be your best friend or your worst enemy? Imagine a world where machines can think, learn, and even create. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's happening right now. And the question is, is this a future we should welcome or fear? Let's start with the basics. What is artificial intelligence? Well, artificial intelligence is the ability of machines to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. Things like understanding languages, recognizing faces, or even playing chess. You've probably already used artificial intelligence today already, whether it's asking Siri for the weather or scrolling through your TikTok's personalized feeds. Artificial intelligence is everywhere and it's changing the way we live, work, and connect. Now, you might be wondering, what started artificial intelligence? Well, as you can see, artificial intelligence, or AI, isn't new. It's been around since the 1950s, but it's only in the last few decades that it's really taken off. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue, a chess computer developed by IBM, beat a world chess champion, Gary Kasparov. In 2011, Siri, the personal voice assistant, was introduced in our smartphones. And now, in 2023, tools like ChatGBT are writing essays, creating artworks, and even coding. AI is evolving faster than ever, and it's only going to accelerate. Now, let's talk about why AI could be our best friend. In healthcare, AI is helping doctors diagnose diseases faster and more accurately. In education, it's helping to create personalized learning tools that adapt to each student's needs. And in the fight against climate change, AI is optimizing energy use and reducing waste based on how it computes those scenarios regarding the environment. These are just a few examples of how AI is making our world better, smarter, and more connected. But like any powerful tool, AI comes with risks. Automation is replacing jobs, leaving many people like factory workers, low-income workers, and even creative professionals unemployed. AI systems can inherit human biases, leading to unfair decisions and or actions that were considered unpredictable. And then there's the issue of privacy, where our data is being collected and used in ways that we don't always understand. So while AI has the potential to be a force for good, it also has the potential to harm. So here's the big question. Is AI a friend or a foe? Thumbs up if it's a friend, thumbs down if it's a foe. OK. Lots of mixed answers. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is, AI is neither good nor bad. It's how we use it that matters. It's like fire. It can warm your home or burn it down. The choice is ours. And that's where we come in. The future of AI depends on us. We have the power to shape it into a tool that empowers, not oppresses. We need to use AI responsibly. 
ethically and with a focus on the greater good. Whether it's advocating for fair AI policies, learning how to code, or simply being mindful of how we use technology. Each of us has a role to play. Together, we can ensure that AI becomes our greatest ally, not our biggest challenge. AI is here to stay. It's up to us to decide whether it will be a force for good or a source of harm. So, I'll leave you with this. The future isn't something that happens to us. It's something we create. Let's create a future where AI is our friend, not our foe. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening. I am Thomas, and I cannot wait to see how you'll shape the future of artificial intelligence. <laughs>